Ty Tabor. This is uh, basically a rundown of the rig I, I use live and in the studio also, actually. I've been using this rig for a couple of years, really, really digging it. And uh, basically the, the, the main brains to it, uh, the tone to it that I, that I love is this unit right here, which is called the M4, made by Eggnator Amplification. And uh, basically it's a chassis that holds four separate modules with actual tubes. It's not, not hemp modeling, but, uh, but actual hardware tubes, preamp sections of a lot of the different uh, popular amp preamp sections that, that everybody loves. What I, what I like to use, in my mind, I have four modules that I use normally. In the very top, I use a top boost, uh, just like a Brian May box top boost kind of, kind of module. And uh, then on over here, I use something that's sort of like a JCM 100 type module. Then on this module, I use something called a, a EG5, which is basically a, one of the Eggnator modules that they've modded that's like a super hopped up Marshall type of thing on, on 11. It's a bad module. And it's the one that I use 90% uh, of the time, probably, or, or more. Then also down here, I use another module called a COD, except that mine has been uh, modified to have a lot of extra mid-range and to kind of emulate a Lab Series L5 amp, which is what my original King's X stuff I played through was. So I basically have modules that can carry me through the different eras of King's X and different tones that we've used through the years. And what I do is I run from that module or from that amp, that preamp section, into some various effects. Uh, right here is a Line 6 uh, Echo Pro, which I also have one and I use a lot of times. Uh, lately I've been using something by Fractal Audio called the Axe Effects Ultra, and I've been using it strictly just for its uh, effects section and uh, kind of ignoring the uh, modeling amp section of it, just strictly because the effects themselves, by themselves, they're amazing. So uh, basically I run from the Eggnator into my effects, which are stereo, and I run stereo out of the effects into a Randall RT250 power amp. And uh, what I like about this is I can uh, use 6L6 tubes in one side and use EL34 tubes in the other side which give me a totally different, uh, it's almost like playing through two different amps because they, the tubes react differently. And, uh, and you also have a really cool option with this amp that you can go right here on the front and with a very simple uh, meter that you can get a radio shack or whatever for testing electrical current, you just plug them in the hole here and you can with a screwdriver set the bias of the tubes from the front of the of the power section so you no longer have to take it somewhere to to have you know have it made more warm or more cold or whatever depending on what tone you're looking for you can literally dial it in yourself on the front of the power amp itself so that's why i really love the uh, randall rt250 is, is for power it's the most versatile power that i've ever used before and you no longer have to go to the shop to hop it up you can do whatever you want to with it yourself and that's basically the simple rig. I control it all with a Behringer foot, MIDI foot pedal and uh, just basically call up different settings on my effects and most of the time stay on the same amp. And occasionally switch to the COD for a Gretchen album type tone or one of the Marshall things, one of the Marshall ones for uh, something like Ear Candy or Dog Man. Uh, but like I said, 90%, maybe 95% of the time, it's the EG5 module, which is just probably one of the most popular ones they make, and there's a good reason for it. It's just a super bad sounding module. But the best thing about it is it's all real hardware, real tubes, with that real unpredictable play that you get with tubes that you cannot emulate. It's just impossible to emulate with software. And uh, so I, it makes you have to be a little more on your game when you're playing because it exposes mistakes a lot a lot more easy also but at, but if you really want a good pure tone that you just can't get any other way uh, I highly recommend the, the Eggnator stuff and the Randall Power and that's basically the rundown of my rig I don't really use any pedal effects 
Uh, in some of the older stuff, I'd use a wah pedal every once in a while and things like that, but uh, on the last several tours, I've literally been plugging straight into the amp, running it basically flat, and uh, that's it. No extra power pedals, nothing, just straight in. And uh, one of the things I use to get a whole bunch of different tones without changing the amp is this Guilford guitar, which has some Seymour Duncan P rails in it. And uh, the cool thing about the P rails is with the flip of a switch, you can have P90 sound with these pickups. Just in the back position, it's like having two P90s. In the middle position with this toggle, it's like having some really serious humbuckers. And in the front position, it's like having great single coil strat tone. So it's like three separate guitars just by flipping the switch and without having to put down and pick up a strat, put down, pick up a Les Paul, put down, pick up something with P90s. Just flip this toggle and you've got those, those three different distinct tones and you have a normal pickup selection between your pickups whatever you have this set on, with whether P90, humbuckers, or single coil strat type tone. You've got regular three-way switch here. So you don't have to think about all this complicated stuff. Whatever it's set on, you've got a regular toggle for your pickups. It's just that simple. And I love everything being that simple. And I used to have a very, very complicated rig to try to get this kind of tone. So lucky for me, Bruce came up with some, a really great amp that doesn't have to have a bunch of extra stuff to make it sound good. And it's just a simple plug it in and go kind of kind of situation. So that's what I'm using these days and digging on it big time.